Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on Violet City Gym and we won. And we came out here and we got that egg, which uh, if we check our menu real quick uh, to the egg, it'll hatch soon. I did some running around off screen. I did no grinding whatsoever, no encounters, no nothing, just running around like an idiot. So uh, I'm going to run around this whole episode and just it'll hatch eventually. So whatever. Anyway, we're going to go grab some encounters. I want to grab one in the Ruins of Alf because... Uh, I just want to get this area over with. Do you f revive fossils here? Let's see. There are odd patterns drawn on the walls of the ruin. They're about, their ruins are about 1,500 years old. That's all I know about them. Okay. Bravo. A promising youth who's about to start the... Uh, oh, okay. What, a visitor? Oh, I just see. I get me excited for nothing. Oh. Okay, well, you know, if I don't work for you, you freaking crazy jerk. So, I guess this might be like the, um, the... Yes, I know, Masego, you're really happy with me. This is a mysterious hall. Please watch your step. There's a trainer over there? Why is there a trainer over there? Oh, it's a maze! It's a maze. This is a remix of a Gen 1 song. Uh, okay, so I guess you're supposed to go in there for an encounter. Okay, Ruins of Alf. Okay, so you're supposed to uh, encounter unknown here, but you know. Knowing this game, there will be no unknown. So, whatever. All right, so our Ruins of Alf encounter is, wait! Okay, that's dupes anyway. All right, forget it. Nope, nobody wants mine, Junior. So if that's our encounter, then, eh. Uh, I forgot to do the spinner! How did, I, how did I forget to do that? I throw on the spinner, and we get... Oh, Dedicated Hunter! All right, so Dedicated Hunter, what that means is that we are only allowed, um... We are never allowed to run away from a battle. Never. Never allowed to run away from our encounters. So we must kill or catch what we want. So we have found a Chinchell. So no matter what, we either have to catch or kill this Chinchell, whether we like it or not. So uh, I'm going to hidden power it and see if it does nothing. Uh, I shard should not do anything. Poison, right? What type are you again? All right, whatever. This probably was a horrible idea, but whatever. All right, it's neutral and OK. There we go. Don't want to fight again. I don't want to fight. Uh, we're gonna use a Pokeball and throw it at the Chincho. Okay, so Chinchos evolve really early, so this is actually not a bad roll. So I'll take it. Oh, come on! Alright, well in red and blue, if it said shoot, it was so close. You would get an- it- the next ball would be an automatic catch. So, let's see what happens. Uh, I feel like this is an Ice-type Chincho, which isn't awful, but then the thing is it'll evolve into a not Chincho. And, or, well, there is a small chance it can evolve into Lantern, but most likely it's not going to evolve into Lantern. Okay. Grass and Steel type. That's a pretty interesting type combo. A good replacement for Robert. On the dark ocean floor, it is only means of communication is its constant flashing lights. So it talks by Morse code. What the hell? <laughs> okay, Kumar. Real load of gender benders we get here. First, there's Clarice, and now there's Kumar. What the hell? Okay, so now Kumar is gonna go to the PC, which means uh, all all we know it knows is a uh, uh, ice shard, and we don't know anything else. Ugh! I hate ladders in this game. I hate ladders. <laughs> ladders are making the most bit the largest stink of all time. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to head over to Violet City just so I can do some stuff because I feel like I've gotten some things. Money? Did I get some cash money? I don't remember getting cash money. But anyway, there's still our Route 32 encounter, which uh, I can just currently say yeet to that. I also got a super potion from my mama, which was very considerate of her. Oh, you sell the thing in the heel ball, which technically I don't need anymore considering I just hit the PC. So we're just going to buy five more Pokeballs. 
and then and then we're just gonna eat the potions right now because we're about to fight, battle some trainers anyway so it's like you know what's really the point you know it's just simply an encounter uh, I don't know if I want to do some training for Clarice uh, I might as well just wait until all these encounters are finished so you know whatever Clarice can do whatever plus I want to see what this is in this egg so no matter what we get we have to stay here so whatever uh, route 30 oh yeah route 36 is blocked off so I can't get anything there so uh, okay. Our Route 32 encounter is... Diglett. Alright, that's, that's easy. That's simple enough. That also evolves really easily. This game is giving me a whole barrel of opportunities to find evolutions, except for Bajorn. Alright, Arm Thrust. Oh, you're Ghost Type. Right, right. There we go. The Sega was Ghost Type. I gotta remember that. It cl uh, the fuck? Uh, okay, that's not a good. That is not a good. Okay. Heat Wave is basically a powered up flamethrower with less accuracy. There you go. So, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, Clarice is poison. Masego is ghost. There we go. We got a Diglett. Sweet. A female Diglett. Beautiful. I want to make sure my, my clicker's up here. Pure dark type Diglett. So, in case Monica falls, we've got Diglett. Oh, I wanted to read its deck entry. Whatever. Yeah, because unlike Red, you can actually read the deck entries. And its name is... Christ Jan. That's not a... I'll try one more. Theodosia. Can I put that in there? Let's see. I can put it in there. Alright. Well, I forgot the other name already. Christ Jan. But whatever. I'll, I'll name it Theodosia for... Interestingly's sake. <laughs> Interestingly's? Uh, interestingly. I think I've come up with the title for this episode already. <laughs> it's Interestingly. The show. Alright, get in the ball, put it on the thingy. Oh, I can't wait to see what this egg evolves into. Evolves. Hatches into. I want to see what's in this egg. Alright, someone's PC, move Pokemon, and okay, so we got Shinsho. Oh, it has minus, but it'll change, so whatever. I'm not, I'm not, oh, you can see your moves there. Whatever, I want to see it on the stat page. Summary. So I've run in the ruins of Alf, likes to thrash about. Okay, with minus, who gives a shit? Uh, we've got Baton Pass, Fling, Sketch, and Ice Shard. Okay. Uh, it's impish nature, which means it's down a special attack, which sucks for Chinchill, but whatever. And then we've got this thing, which has skill link? Eh. Oh, dude! Arm thrust and skill link? What the fuck? That is broken. Let me tell you, that shit is broken. Like, honestly, if I get a bad roll on this egg, I swear to God, I'll pick up the Theodosia. Like, I'll pick that thing up. I know it's a dupe, a duplicate typing of uh, Monica, but the thing is, both Monica and Theodosia can evolve into something different, so it's like, really, who gives a shit? I'm gonna go about things. That, all right, so now we're gonna put things aside. Uh, we're gonna do Clarice. Where am I going? I'm gonna put Clarice in front because um, we shut up. Uh, I'm gonna put Clarice up in front so we can train stuff with it. Because um, until we find an EXP share, um, I have to do switch training, which is really, really dangerous. But anyway, this person's going to battle, or not. No, they're not. Oh, a Miracle Seed! Okay. I don't have any Grass-type moves, but alright, cool. So this is still Route 32. Oh, but if I get a Dedicated Hunter, I'm... Okay, never mind. No Dedicated Hunter use, I'm fighting the trainer. Skitty. Uh, no matter what you want to say, I will not keep him into it. Uh, let's go to Monica. Watch it pull out a bug type move. Watch it pull it out. Or a fighting type move. Horn attack. That's normal. Okay. Uh, let's throw a T bolt at it. So it's not ground type, clearly. But does it resist? 
It's neutral. Paralyze? No. Charge Beam, not gonna do very much. Maybe. I mean, is is Monica's special defense any good? It has somewhat already special defense. All right, so this T-Bolt should kill, which means um, Clary should have a healthy level up or not. Why not? Oh, oh no, 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 no. I don't care what anybody says. I am not gonna mess around with why not or Wobbuffets. No, thank you. Level 8, too. If this thing has counter or mirror coat... Okay, it's dark type. It's dark type. Screw my life. Honestly, that's what their type should be. Alright, please flinch. Or kill. That's cool. No destiny bond? I'm good with that. I mean, I know I could have done something with... No, I didn't... I was playing safe. Okay, so we have to battle this thing no matter what. And it's better than that. I found another one. I found one of these before. But, uh, I don't know what I fought with it. Uh, I think, I don't know. For something I don't know, I'll just go to Bajorn. Conversion 2. All right, you were the Conversion 2 dummy. All right, here we go. Ooh, it's weak to Psychic. That's a good clue. That's a good clue as to what it is. All right, Clarice grew a level, which is great. Because the more Clarice can level up, you know, that means she can actually be a team member. A luck incense. Dude, cash money right there. Let's go. I'll wait till I get to... Oh. The egg is hatching. The egg is hatching. Elekid. I'll take Elekid. It evolves at, like, what, level 30 or something? Okay. We've got another team member. We've got... Sarika. Alright, that's more of a girl's name. Everybody wants to go with the gender bend. The good old gender bend. Alright, Sarika. So now Sarika's on the team, but that it might not be. Uh, Sarika is pure rock type. Okay. Neutral nature with snow, with snow warning. Stealth rock, bullet punch, razor leaf, and extra sensory. Mmm... I don't know about this guy. I mean, you know, I don't really know what I want to do with it. I mean, I want to just, I want to check real quick to know when uh, it evolves because I know Diglett evolves into Doug Trio at like, actually, you know what? I'm not, ac I'm not actually sure when it evolves. So, whatever. Uh, I'll just check Doug Trio real quick. Doug Diglett, Diglett, dig, Diglett, dig, Diglett, dig. Twenty six. Okay, so level twenty six it evolves. And then Elekid. That's what I was looking for. Elekid. Okay. There you go. Okay. Electabuzz. Works for me. That level 30. I knew it. And then at level 30, it evolves into something different. So, whatever. And then Monica would evolve at level 16, which she's almost there. Clarice. I'm just going to check for show. For show. Uh, when Tyrogue evolves. Just so that I know. Yeah, level 20. With certain stats. So you know. Yeah, getting Hitmontop is so hard. Like, it might be like, oh, it's just random chance. No, it's just bullshit. Uh, Sundara evolves at level 20, Masei goes Moonstone Evolution, and Bajoran will never ever evolve in his entire life. <laughs> so, fuck it. Uh, I don't want to worry about this camper girl, but at the same time, I want to battle her. Alright, that's where the luck incense was. Uh, if I can get to Azalea Town down here... No, that's more root over there. Uh, is there anything over here? This is... More root. Okay. Uh, okay. The thing is, I don't want to run into wild encounters because I have to face them. I have to. Absolutely have to. I don't feel like this girl battles you. But she could. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, I think I've sealed my own fate. And by the way, that, um... What's a face it? What? Who's a what's it? Um, that uh, life insurance from the last video that didn't really get used, um, because you know I didn't die. Um, it, it's not applicable. After after the episode it's featured in cannot be used anymore. So you know. Ooh, good job, Bajorn! Good job, Bajorn! Yeah, let me just tell you, if you play this ROM and you've chosen. 
Um, no, I don't want to be your friend. No, you're in the corner with a luck incense sitting across from you. No, you, you, that's like a, that's like a vegetable. You planted it there. You put that there on purpose. Oh, crap. You put that there by your own accord. I'm gonna get that item off screen. I don't really need it. Unless it's like an EXP share. Then, you know, whatever. Love disc. It's level 10. I don't want to mess around with it. Please do not have arena trap. Because I know things can have, um, that. Uh. Perish. Oh. Okay. I see how it goes. I see how it's gonna. I see how you're gonna operate. Teeter dance. Oh. Okay, I might as well get the Parish Count off. Um, so it was neutral on electric. Nah, I can get the job done if I just T-Bolt. Alright, I forgot. I can hurt myself. Okay, no choice. Gotta switch. Uh, let's go to Masego. This might be a bad option, but whatever. I gotta do something right. BAM! Played yourself. There you go. Clarice got a nice high mighty level up. So did Monica. Masego. I think that's a little bit of experience. Okay, so I'll fight those other fishermen. Ugh. No! I don't want to register people's numbers. Only if you need them. Only if the game forces you to get their numbers. Oh, come on! Are you serious? He was just like, huh, 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 huh. I need friends! I need friends! No, you don't need friends. <laughs> All right, a Wurmple. Uh, level 10. Why is everything level 10? Training Clarice is so hard. All right, I'm gonna go to Sundara, because it's just a Wurmple, right? Okay. Good thing Egg Mom always misses. Like, Red has taught me one thing. Egg Mom sucks. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm Rock-type. No! Oh, come on! All right, we're going to Bajorn. We're going to Bajorn because friggin' of course it would. Are you serious? Please eat this up, Bajorn. Please. Okay. A beautiful, beautiful display. Okay, there. Bajorn. Even when a move is super effective, he doesn't give a shit. He's just like, really, bitch. Really? You're gonna throw that? Just throw that bullshit at me? It didn't work. It didn't work, man. Did it? Uh, this guy cannot help you. No. How about no? I don't like slowpoke tail. <laughs> it's not because I'm in, it's not because I don't like morals. Okay, I'll put Sarika in the PC because it's just, it, it's, it's too much. Having five team members right now just seems all right, which is why Sarika will not be added to the layout because Number one, I've already got enough editing to do as is for this series. I'm not... Okay, you know what? All I wanted to do is deposit a uh, moi in there. So, really, you just did me a service. Thank yous. Okay. There we go. But anyway, uh, are we healed? Yes, we are. Okay, awesome. Uh, what is this? Union Cave? Is this a flash area? Okay, I feel like you battle. Yep. <laughs> yes, I know I'm from Fall- I, I know that I have the badge. Okay, oh, you're another bug cat. Uh, bird person. Clarice, can you fight this? Uh, I don't want to risk it yet. I don't want to risk it. Uh, let's go to Masego. I knew I handled it with Monica, but... Oh. Alright, he uses Horn Attack. Duh, good read, right? Okay, neutral. Wow, that does no damage. Okay, that does not a lot. I feel like this should kill you, but on the other hand, it probably won't. Trash. 
charge beam. Okay. Interesting. It's not gonna heal me up to full, but whatever. I don't care. I don't want to do Union Cave. Not today. Our Clarice gained that sweet level up. Ladyba. If it's level 6, Clarice should be able to take it out. Then again, it could just self-destruct like a fucking asshole. Or Earthquake. Or never mind, it can be level 8 and be completely impossible to fight. Although it is a Ladyba, so I bet Sundar I can face it. Uh, Hyper Fang. It's not Super Fang, so I'm not that worried. And I'm rock type. Jesus. Sundara's EXP gain is so bad and it's resisted. And it also has water pulse. Everything is picking on Sundara. Alright, uh Go to Bajorn. Go to Bajorn. Just just go to Bajorn. Water pulse not gonna do anything. Don't confuse. Crit? Okay. Crit, that's it. And... You're dead. You finished. 30-30. Fuck. Another Skitty. Uh, Alright, let's go back to Clarice. Just so it can get help itself. Help itself to some more tasty experience. Just by being here. Pokemon. Masego. And this time I'm going to try to Poison Tail it. Because I know it probably would go at a horn attack or needle arm. Uh, Clarice would have resisted that, pretty sure. Resisted the poison tail. Charge beam. I want to hidden power you just to see what happens. Just so I can know what to hidden power. Because for the most part, I can just throw hidden powers at stuff, and I can catch them. Or not, okay. Uh, after this, I'm gonna use a Mega Drain to heal. Masego! Masego was one of the most useful Pokemon I've used. Like, honestly, like, I was like, Jigglypuff? But no, it's actually turning out to be quite right. Quite alright. So I think I might just run in and grab the encounter for Union Cave. And also because we don't have repels, so, you know, it's just gonna be annoying. Uh, okay. Oh, I want that item so bad. Alright, let's just go in and grab this encounter. We're gonna go to Masego. Masego, switch, go over there. Okay. So either we catch it or kill it. That's what it is. Flash? Do we need flash? Nope, no flash necessary, but what is necessary is being encounter ready. Our Union Cave encounter is... Spear. All right, you know what? Throwback to Shorty. I'll take it. I'll take a throwback to Shorty. Oh, okay. Thought, I always think Masego's grass because of Mega Drain. All right, do not be super effective. Super effective, it's dead. Yep. All right, thanks, Masego. Never mind, I'm not using you for encounters anymore. So now I need to reverse shuffle if I want an encounter there. Ugh. The moment I want to use five team members, in it, and I play myself. Great, should I just use Clarice? Yeah, for encounters, I'm just going to use Clarice. Alright. Whew. <sighs> That was a bit of a pain. Anyway, next time on the Pokemon Soul Silver Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke, we are going to be going through Union Cave and hopefully getting to Azalea Town. Uh, yeah, save the game. So, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs>